uh, an essentially remote play. Like, I'll, I'll just show you what it is. Let me go to remote play. So essentially remote play allows for you to stream your PS3 straight to your computer. Therefore on your computer you can use a tool to record it and stuff. But the only downside is that it is 540p. And uh, 540p ain't the best quality. Yeah, here, let me quit Minecraft. <laughs> Minecraft's the best game ever. Um, yeah, this is essentially what it is. So you use your keyboard to control the game and control the PS3. And it's, it's a really cool program. And let me delete it from my computer right now. Okay, so the first thing you want to do is download the file that's going to be linked in the description. This is Remote Play 1.1 Plus Patch. And just open up the file using WinRAR. You can extract it if you, if you want. And uh, what you want to do is open up this file first. The EP, EP0002486801. Just open that up. Uh, let it do its thing, and just click yes. It's, uh, it's already installed on the computer. That's <laughs> it's because it's already re installed on my computer, which is uh, which is reasonable because it is freaking <laughs> installed on my computer. Um. I'm I'm just gonna restore it from here because why not? Uh, yeah. So install that. Then you want to take these two files and like copy them. And you want to open up a new file explorer, brand new one. So hey, hey, let me go over what we did because I know I just did some weird thing and you guys don't know what I did, but essentially all you do, download this file. I'll do straightforward from now on. Download this file, use WinRAR to extract it, and extract it, and you will get this file, this file, and this file. Open up this file, and run the installer, and just completely let it install. Next, you want to open up a new file explorer, and you want to go to this PC. Go to your Windows C drive, program files times 86, Scroll down until you see Sony, then open up Sony, and go to Remote Play with PlayStation 3. Once you're in here, you want to go back to your other file explorer, and you want to copy these two files. And if Windows keeps deleting these two files, saying that it is a virus, I can assure you it is not a virus, and I've been using it for a while now, because my Elgato is broken. And... It just says that because it doesn't know what type of, like, it, this is just an unlicensed exe file. If you look at it, it's just an exe, and your computer doesn't know what it is. So you can allow it through your firewall, you can do whatever, and, uh, yeah. So all you want to do is right-click these and press copy, or you can drag and drop, but copy's better. And go to the remote play with PlayStation 3 that we just opened up in program files, and click paste and do replace the files in the destination and press continue press continue again yeah. um, it only it should only say it one time now whenever you go to open remote play you do not want to open this application right here you want to open this RMP launcher so if you're gonna create a shortcut which would be right there and like it's placed on my desktop now that's the one that you want the shortcut for is that RMP launcher pin that to your taskbar if you want do whatever but that is the one that you want you never want to open up this one it'll mess it up and th this is the way to go so you can just open up that now and now you want to go to your PlayStation 3 I'm pretty sure mine like might be frozen or some shit right now and you want to go to the network tab and I'll show you what you I'll show you what to do <laughs> okay don't worry I got you guys um you can start searching on your computer or you can just wait a sec 
And on your PS3, if you don't know what the network tab is, it's right to the right of the game tab. A lot of people, like, when they think network, they think settings, and then going over all the way in settings to uh, network settings, but that's not what is meant. So yeah, just uh, go to the network tab. Network tab. It doesn't matter if you're jailbroken or not jailbroken. It, it can be. It can be literally whatever. This uh, this works for both. I'm on jailbreak, but I've done it with my non-jailbroken before. Um, but yeah, once you are inside of the network tab, you want to just click Remote Play with PlayStation Three, and I'll show you exactly what I'm talking about. Uh, you can press cancel on that. <laughs> So, okay, now let me connect because I have it pulled up on my PS3. And it connected, and there you go. So, in this tab right here, right to the right of game and to the left of PlayStation, this is where the remote play with PlayStation 3 will be. You do not want to go over to settings, and you do not want to go to network here. You want to go all the way over here and do this and um essentially that's it it's it's pretty easy pretty self-explanatory and um yeah i have another tutorial on my channel which shows you like some games you can't play but most games you can't like for minecraft for me you can't normally play it but um i figured out a way to get around that so you totally can play it normally and um yeah I'll full screen it and stuff, and I'll show you guys the quality. You can just, like, end the video now. You should totally drop a like if this did help you out, though. I'm sorry for kind of getting off topic at first. So, this is the only bad part. If you go to settings, you can change the response speed and the image quality. But, I set it to plus 2, which is the maximum. And it's 540p, which is still this bad. And for key assignment, I would honestly recommend using the same key layout that I have. Uh, once you get used to it, it's really good. L2 button 2, L1 button 1, R2 button C, R1 button F1, up button 8, down button 5, left button 4, and right button 6. The O button would be X, X button would be Q, triangle button would be Z, Square button would be E. And the left stick up would be W, left stick down, S, left stick right, I mean, left stick left, A, left stick right, D. The select button is the dash sign. The start button is the equal sign. PlayStation button is ESC, escape. L3 button is 3. R3 button is V. And right stick up would be up on your uh, keypad. No, it's not keypad, like your upper arrows. Down would be down arrow, left would be left arrow, and right would be right arrow. And once you get good at it, you can totally go ahead and use it. And sadly, you cannot connect a controller like you can in PS4 remote play. But if you're just trying to play something like Minecraft and you're trying to get some gameplay out there, or theater mode in Black Ops 2, this is really all you need, and I, I know it's terrible. I can uh, I can full screen it, full screen it for you guys, but uh, like, haha, <laughs> like look. If I shrink it down, it's like, oh look, that looks like a completely normal Minecraft, <laughs> and uh, it's because it's 540p. But if I full screen it, this is a uh, the the quality is not of. Not, not of the greatest quality, you know? Like, here, I'll launch a command block real quick. <laughs> and, yeah. Here, let me just shoot up this command block, and let's see if we can even see it. Oh, it just jumped. Alright, command block should come shooting out of here. <laughs> Shoot! <laughs> Fucking shit. <laughs> it's not shooting. I, I, I give up on life. Honestly whatever <laughs> um yeah that's it though and i hope you guys enjoyed and uh peace out